door right here. Got an inside pass line. Inside, but get, get on the throttle. Anyways, half throttle. This guy's in my way, but... Oh! Shit. You fucking asshole! Yeah, you got blocked. Well, I'm in Washington, guys. I'm gonna pull over here. I got a story to tell. Anyways, I'm in Washington heading to Pacific Raceway for my Lorenzo comeback. That is the title, my Lorenzo comeback. I just made a story saved category for Instagram called Lorenzo Comeback for this trip. The broken thumb, you know, that's, <laughs> it's not bending. I mean, to give you a reference, bend, right? Mm, no, still a little, it looks freaking sideways. Saw Roy at Physio as you saw, and so I'll go back and uh, work it more. He was able to bend it more than I am, but you know, he like works it, after that, it just gets stiff again. So it'll take you know a bunch of sessions with Roy. And Roy Gillespie is the best, the best in Canada. That's all he does is study up and keep going and learning more. And he doesn't just focus on the money. So that's really cool. And so Friday, I'm teaching rider training one one with the Ninja 400. So I won't have any practice on the big bike that I just fixed, except for 10 minutes in FP1 and then qualifying, and then the money race at 12 noon, or just after lunch. So it's gonna be really difficult. I don't even know if I should do it. Like really, I need a track day set up. I won't have any time to get used to the big bike, let alone just riding the Ninja to go to that bike. Let it, but now coming back from my Lorenzo comeback crash, it's gonna be real tough. And my I need to get fourth to like win like 500 bucks to pay for the entry fee. I gotta pay for medical insurance to go racing too. And then Sunday is rain, so who knows if, this is all just Saturday, so. Anyways guys, that's the update for the documentary for Patreon. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. If this does go public later, please support what I'm trying to do with the documentaries and teaching people, you know, with the videos. I always get comments how much people learn from watching and seeing how my pit works and talking while riding and giving clues you know so you got to monetize somehow and patreon.com forward slash ernie racing oh yeah this is how the solo wanderer eats costco greek salad add more feta add more olives costco microwave angus beef patties hot sauce from the ylw truck and other hot sauce as well Looks like there's going some expansion next to the racetrack. The question is, is it houses or is it for the racetrack? Like a motocross track. Probably something stupid like houses. Loading up his Porsche. I'm at the racetrack, guys. And I'm rendering part four. <laughs> Back at the garage, working on the Beamer. Look who it is. Barry, KFG, second to arrive. Let the process begin. The next shot, I'll be a lot more forward. Okay, it's time to heal myself with another shot of bone healing supplement. My friend Chantal got me this, thank you very much. And those are the ingredients. Let's shoot her up, guys. Inject it. Okay guys, I am studying gearing. I'm looking at my notes. I was here in June 14th this year teaching powwow and uh, he was on his R6 and I was cruising along and I was using a 1642 and I determined on that day that I should probably have a 1641 or run 17, 1743, 
1742. You can see 1641 was a 256. So just trying to figure out gearing, guys. Oh yeah, the pit. Mmm, Rich's Pizza. My buddy Steven is behind me. And there's the Beamer. So I gotta change gearing. I gotta change that big mission muffler off of there. Ninja. Steven! You made it! I know, barely. Just now. My pit is on fire. All right, time to change the gearing. Loctite, as always, guys, especially on your sprocket. Yeah, hard to do this, but yep. Okay, check out the length difference. Look how loose the chain is after switching a bigger front sprocket up by one, but the rear down from a 44 to a 41. So it makes a huge difference on the rear drop. What am I on now for the distance? 40, I went from 30 to 40, extra centimeter distance. All right, guys, we are the Too Fast Registration. We got Mr. Racer from Germany over here. He's a YouTube fan. <laughs> Watching the Ridge videos, he says. Yeah, dude. Anyways, and then, yeah, uh, yeah, that's me. Okay, we're ready to go. Well, I don't need three, ah, uh, whatever. Okay, thank you very much. I don't need three, three, two, three hundreds. You know, not for both bikes. Well, you're, uh, you know, you're thinking ahead, maybe. You never know. It's a 400. What about Austin? What's going on from Canada? <laughs> All right, guys, let's get back to the pit. There's coffee, Mr. Coffee. Coffee with a Y. With a Y. Did you have your coffee this morning too? No, I don't drink it. No, that's right. I remember asking you this before. Anyways, I'm going back to my coffee. There's this Moto America paint job. Nope, vinyl wrap. Bam. There's the champ, Mike Sullivan. What's your number? One. No, it was 74. Yeah. That's right. I couldn't get that number. It looks like this. <laughs> oh, real? Oh, look at this. No wonder I couldn't get that number. It's it was a permanent fixture. It's engraved. <laughs> <laughs> like There's David's bike. Blaney, where's David? I don't know. He's not Buster, here yet. Buster Rhymes? He's not here yet. He pays 1500 for rider training. He doesn't show up. <laughs> His bike is what I want. Oh, sorry, dude. Backed into you. Oh, hey, here, look, everybody. It's Powell. There you go. What do you got to say to everybody? Uh, it is going to be great weekends. Yes. You're going to go fast on that R6, huh? Yeah. Down, in, down to uh, the 30. <laughs> yeah, to 29. To 29. There you yeah. go. Chase myself. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. He's pitted beside me. But yeah, look at David's bike. It's exactly what I want to do. Oh yeah, he's got the Olins on there, he's got the damper, he's got the nice bodywork, he's got the 415 chain, little mini sprockets. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's this thing making on the dyno? Uh, mid-40s. Yeah. He's got the little M4 exhaust. Alright. 
Hey, buddy. Hello. Oh, no. Joel, he's stuck. Hey, buddy, your dog's stuck on his leash. Oh, he's all right. Oh, there you go. You made it. There you go. How are you doing this morning? Tired? Sleepy? Yes, very sleepy. Yeah. So where's your moto? Which one? This one? This one right here. Oh, yeah. Represented by Law Tigers. Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with those. I, I did a job for those guys. Um, I shared their stuff in World's Best. They paid me to share their their video they made, a Law Tigers video. Yeah, they're awesome. They're really cool. Um, who else? Oh, my friend. Uh, my friend's at Highmark Tattoo. They're awesome as well. All right. Well, this is not a sponsor show, but oh, thank you. No, 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 no. This is about me. Okay, hold on a second here. It's about you. What are you doing today and tomorrow? Uh, shredding. Shredding. There you go. That's good. That's good. All right, I'll see you later. All right, guys, back to the pit. There's Moto Co, the full hundy, Merlin, all beaten up. Look at that. Look at my custom gauges, or I mean buttons. Button for button. Oh, I still got to switch that exhaust, but you can see it's still the big old mission muff. And I got the rider training helmets ready to go. I'll be wearing that one, and then David will be wearing that one, and then this is uh, SR2, obviously, if I need it for later. Come by the pit, guys. Come ask for a hat, some swag. <laughs>